Let's mention briefly how connective tissue is organized within the myocardium. Believe it or not, every single myocardial fiber has a small amount of connective tissue surrounding it. All of these individual little red bodies are myocardial fibers, striated cardiac muscle. This little clear zone between every individual cell is a small amount of connective tissue. And at the lowest level, uh, this is called endomyceum, just like it's called in skeletal voluntary muscle as well. The second level of connective tissue, which is quite a bit thicker, and it'll have actually more fibroblasts and perhaps more blood vessels, is, uh, and I'm sorry, perimyceum. So these little bundles then are then separated from the endomyceum of the individual cells to the perimyceum of uh, cell bundles. And last but not least, the highest level of organization, whether you're talking about cardiac muscle or skeletal muscle, would be the, either the actual endocardium itself or the pericardium, which at the highest level is called perimyceum. So just think of it as going from endo for individual cells to peri to pericardium. So individual cells are surrounded by endomyceum. Larger groups uh, where there's more connective tissue, uh, perhaps here, sep separating these as bundles, would be epi, I'm sorry, perimyceum. And then last but not least, the whole myocardium itself is surrounded by this next level of connective tissue, which is epimyceum. So it goes from endo to peri to epi in cardiac muscle, just like it does with skeletal muscle. And I want to thank you very much for allowing me to make that little point of differentiation in shotgun histology.